Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the portfolio. Again, I want to thank everyone for supporting the channel, all the viewers, all the subscribers, immensely appreciate the support. For today's video, I thought I would detail three stocks that have upcoming ex dividend dates this next week, all three stocks that could be utilized in a dividend capture swing trade type of strategy. Two of the stocks were mentioned by viewers on the channel. I think they're a little bit higher risk with regards to the nature of the underlying companies but they could also be utilized as contrarian investments as well. For the past one year, both OMI and GME, two of the stocks we'll talk about today, have been quite depressed with regards to stock price that could rebound and could rebound quite nicely over the next few months to year. But again, very high risk, high reward types of investments. But for the shorter term, I think they're still very minimal to dividend capture swing trade types of strategies. And the other stock is a stock I have in the portfolio a new addition to the portfolio, IRM, a bedrock of any portfolio, a very good company with a stellar dividend yield. So we'll have a discussion about OMI, GME, as well as IRM. So let's go ahead and take a look at all three of these stocks here. First on screen here is OMI, Owens & Miner. This is a stock I detailed about a year ago or so with a dividend capture video as well. This is a healthcare logistics and supply company. You can see the earnings here in the middle. Q1 2018, looking a little bit better than 2017. There is a pending earnings report for July 31st here after hours. Take a look at the statistics. Very good dividend yield, 5.56%. And with the stock trending back, the next dividend payment, which we'll talk about today, is 6.5%. Small cap company there, less than $1 billion. If we take a look at the graph, you can see over the past one year of trading, it's down 48%. The last five years of trading is down 45.11%. So like I said, this could be a very good contrarian investment. The market segment as a whole, supply companies, healthcare, logistics, and supply companies have been down. My other company I have in the portfolio, CAH Cardinal Health, is also down. So this may be a very good time to jump into this stock as well as the market sector as a whole on a contrarian investment. But again, very high risk in doing that. Over the shorter term, I think there is... Uh, a play to be made with dividend capture swing trading. So the important numbers for this stock, the ex-dividend date is on the 14th of June. So you have to buy it before that date, hold until the ex-dividend date, and then you can sell off thereafter to receive the dividend, which the payment will be on the 2nd of July, 26 cents per share for a dividend payment of 6.5%. So that is the first stock here, OMI, Owens & Miner. The second stock here is GameStop, GME. And you can see here over the past five years of trading, it's down 50.6%. For the last one year of trading, it's down 30.79%. So much like OMI, this may be a very good contrarian play, uh, contrarian investment. But again, this is a very high risk, high reward type of investment. If we go to the bottom here, if we go up to earnings here, you can see it's been a profitable company, but not a very profitable company. It definitely has been lagging behind its competitor statistics. You can see the last dividend payment, 9.36%. The current dividend payment will be 10.7%, again, because the stock price has been falling. P.E. ratio quite high there, 288. It's a little bit larger company than OMI, but not much larger, 1.44 billion, so still considered a small cap stock. And again, up on top here, the chart, down 30.82% over the last one year and 50.61% over the last five years of trading. So the important numbers for GameStop, the next dividend date will be on the 11th of June with a payment date on the 26th of June, 38 cents per share, 10.7% dividend payment. So again, you have to buy this stock before June 11th, and then you can sell off on June 11th or thereafter to pick up the dividend of 38 cents per share for a dividend percentage of 10.7%. And the last stock is IRM Iron Mountain. I detailed this on a video, I think in the last couple months here, a very good dividend stock. This is essentially a company that has a monopoly on data storage, both uh, records, paper records, as well as electronic records. A very profitable company, as you can see here in the middle, always beating its expected earnings per share by quite a large margin. You can see in the middle statistics, much larger company than the prior two OMI and GME. This is a 9.88 billion market cap company. Dividend yield on last dividend payment was 5.93. The current dividend payment will be 6.8%. P /E ratio is quite high there, 55.064. But again, this company has a monopoly in the data storage business. If we take a look at the top with the regards to graphs. Over the past one year of trading up and down, up 4.51%. Last 
over the past five years, it's up 71.29%. So I think this is a strong company, uh, durable competitive advantage with this company. I think this company is a buy and hold stock, but again, it can also be utilized in dividend capture swing trades as well. So the important numbers for IRM, the next dividend date will be on the 14th of June. Dividend payment will be on the 2nd of July, 57 cents per share for a dividend yield of 6.8%. So I think out of all three of the stocks today, this would be by far the best stock to jump into. And a lot of the dividend captures I like to do personally are stocks that if you jump into the stock, if it trends down, you can't get out of the stock, you're more than happy to hold it for the longer term, pick up the dividend and then sell it off at a later date. With the other two stocks, GME, OMI, there's definitely a downside potential with those stocks. There's no guarantee that those stocks will hold value over time like an IRM would. So again, GME, OMI, the first two stocks we talked about today, very high risk. Please take a very careful consideration before jumping into those stocks for dividend capture swing trades. IRM, I think, is the safest dividend stock out of all three. You can jump into the stock, pick up the dividend, and then sell off on a swing trade, or go ahead and hold for the longer term, pick up the dividend, and then sell off a few months, a few years, even 10 to 20 years later, because I do, I do think this is a very good blue chip company that has a durable competitive advantage and can be held in a portfolio in a longer term scenario. So let me know what you guys think about these three stocks. Again, GME, OMI, and IRM. Three dividend stocks that have upcoming exit dividend dates next week. You can jump into the stock, qualify for the dividend, and then jump out of the stock in a positive swing trade. So not to make the video too long, I'll kind of end it here. Again, if you guys have any great stocks, please let me know. Two of the stocks on today's video, GME as well as OMI, were viewer suggested stocks. So thank you guys for those. And IRM, like I said, was a stock I detailed a few months ago, but also a stock that about a year ago or so was brought to my attention by a viewer on the channel as well. So please uh, let me know if you guys have any good stocks that you guys are doing dividend capture swing trades with, or even stocks that you're holding for the longer term. Definitely appreciate those stock picks. And again, if you guys enjoy the content on the channel, if you guys enjoy the video series, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And until the next video, we'll see you then.